Sunday, February the 11th, 11.37 in the morning in the bee yard. The girls are loving the 65 degree weather we're having today. Even though it's cloudy, it's not raining. They're out gathering pollen. Look at all the pollen coming back on their feet. Their legs, excuse me. This is hive number one. This is hive number two. One of the overwintered nukes that I made up in, um, I made this nuke up in July. I wanted to overwinter some nukes this year. Uh, these are boxes with five frames in them. It has five frame deep on the bottom and five frame medium on the top. I'm going to have to move these girls into an eight frame setup shortly. So that's hive two. This is hive number three. Hive three, in case I didn't hit the button. <laughs> and this is, I'm going to say hive number four. I'm going down in a row. This is um, a hive from my original hive that I had in 2012. I've managed to keep going from year to year by requeening it with the same stock. And they, this box is jammed full. It's going to have to be split soon. Hive number five. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to count. Um, this is a Greenspur swarm that I got last year from a community garden in Greensboro. Thank you, Nancy. These girls are doing great. This is hive number six, even though it says four in the lineup. I'm counting as I'm going down the road here. This is a queen from um, took a frame of brood from that one and put in here and they raised their own queen. So this is an overwintered queen. And they're doing great. Hive number seven. is from this hive also. I took another frame of brood put over here and started another one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hive number eight this is a swarm that I've got August the 19th at Field and Stream. The queen had died, but I gave them a frame of eggs brood, and they raised their own queen. This hive is living. They're coming in and out of the top instead of the bottom. Wow. Look at all of the pollen. This is the second Greensboro swarm that I got at the community garden. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Look at 
look at all of that pollen. I'm going to show you in a minute where they're getting all of that pollen from. This is another one of my late nukes that I started in July. And they're bringing in pollen. They're doing good. So let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eleven. That's another nuke that I started in July. That one didn't make it. Here's another one. That one's going strong. And that one didn't make it. And here's another one. This is a five frame nuke. I actually started this one in May out of one of the Greensboro swarms. The first one, I believe. I lost count. Um, I use this one as my um, sacrificial, would we say, uh, brood for rearing my nukes that I started in July to boost them. So let's count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hive number fourteen. This hive is from a swarm that showed up in our yard in August. Uh, August 22nd, I believe. I'd have to go back and look at my records. And they're doing really well. They're bringing in pollen also. I think the maple trees, the red maples, have already busted open. This bush, along with the red maples, the willows, or one of the first bushes or trees the girls will collect pollen from. I thought they were working this one today, but it's still too wet, but they're bringing in pollen from somewhere. Must be from the maples. They'll be working this one next week when it's warm weather. There's a few bees flying around there. I see them now. Oh, yeah. Spring is sprung for the bees. I better be on my toes this year. Bye.